Checking the braking transistor on the E, G, H, R, U, and W housing F5 drives. If it is suspected that one of the power stage components has failed, these tests can help confirm this. First, disconnect power to the drive. Lock out the main supply and allow DC bus to discharge. Then remove all the wiring from the terminals that are to be measured. You can also remove the keypad and the lower panel covering the terminal labels. Use a multimeter that has diode checking functionality and select it in order to take voltage drop measurements. When making the measurements, ensure that good contact is being made between the meter leads and terminals for a steady, accurate reading. It may be necessary to tighten the terminals to achieve this. The braking transistor is connected to the external braking resistor at the terminals labeled plus plus and PB. Measure the positive side of the braking transistor by putting the negative black lead of the meter on the positive plus plus DC bus terminals and the positive red lead of the meter on the PB terminal. The measured voltage drop should be approximately 0.4 volt for E and G housing drives and 0.3 volt for H, R, U, and W housing drives. Reverse the meter leads and put the positive red lead of the meter on the negative minus minus DC bus terminal. Put the negative black lead of the meter on the PB terminal. For E housing drives, this measurement should be read OL open. For G housing drives, the voltage drop should measure approximately 1.5 volts. And for H, R, U, and W housing drives, the measured voltage drop should be approximately 0.3 volts. If any of the measurements show a reading of 0 volts, this would indicate a short circuit. If any of the measurements show a reading of OL, this would indicate an open. If the voltage measurements show a reading much lower or much higher than expected values, this would also indicate a failure. Contact your controller manufacturer or KEB America for further troubleshooting and repair assistance.